In this video we will discuss on chemical weathering. Chemical weathering decomposes, dissolves, alters, or weakens the rock through chemical processes to form residual materials. This include carbonation. Carbonation is a process by which carbon dioxide and rainwater or moisture in the surrounding environment chemically react to produce carbonic acid, a weak acid that reacts with carbonate minerals in the rock. This process simultaneously weakens the rock and removes the chemically weathered materials. The next form of chemical weathering is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is a chemical reaction between H plus and O ions in water and the minerals in the rock. The H plus ions in the water react with the minerals to produce weak acids. The reaction creates new compounds which tend to be softer and weaker than the original parent rock material. Another form of chemical weathering is hydration. Hydration is a process where mineral structure in the rock forms a weak bond with water which causes the mineral grains to expand, creating stress which causes the disintegration of the rock. Hydration often produces a new mineral compound that is larger than the original compound. The increased size expands the rock and can lead to decay. Hydration can also lead to color changes in the weathered rock surface. We also have oxidation. Oxidation occurs when oxygen and water react with iron-rich minerals and weaken the structure of the mineral. During oxidation the minerals in the rock will change colors, taking on a, rusty, reddish-orange appearance. The last but not the least is solution. Solution occurs when minerals in rock dissolve directly into water. Solution most commonly occurs on rocks containing carbonates such as limestone, but may also affect rocks with large amount of halite, or rock salt. That's all for today's video, if you found it very interesting please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Bye, see you next time.